decided to share a recipe with you that Jay and I came up with ourselves and it's one of our favorite recipes. Really simple, not a whole lot of ingredients and something that you can pull together really fast if you find out last minute that you're going to have to do some barbecuing for people over the summer. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of ingredients. Basically what you're going to need is a package of bacon, any kind of bacon that you want. We went with um, smoked bacon because it just tastes really good on the grill. And you also want to get a package of pork loin that's already been pre-marinated. We went with the Italian seasoning this time around, but you can really use anything that you like. They have a couple different flavors. And you take the pork loin out of the package and you're going to slice it about an inch thick. So it'll look like this. Now keep in mind this will uh, get smaller when it's cooked on the grill. So if you want something that's thicker, cut it a little bit thicker. I've already cut some up and I've already started putting bacon around them. You're going to need toothpicks and it's really simple. You just take your bacon, wrap it around your pork loin, take a toothpick and stick it in and you want to make sure it comes out the other side so that after this is done cooking on the grill you know where the toothpick is, so you take it out. You don't want to serve this to your guests with toothpicks in it. And then once you've already done one side, take another piece of bacon and wrap it around the other side and toothpick it. And again, make sure the toothpick's out on both sides. And you're done. That's, that's it. Now we're out of the grill now. We've already turned the grill on to medium-high heat. Just going to take our pork loin and set it down on the grill. This will fire up because of the bacon grease. So we'll explain to you what to do in the next step. You want to get all of them on here. Again, it's medium high heat on the grill. And these are going to cook for a total of 20 minutes. All right, let's check the grill and we'll go back in. Our right. next dish is a nice vegetable dish that you can either make on the grill or you can make it on the stove top. I found this really cool copper pan that is safe for the grill and it's what I use, but if you don't have one of these, you can do it in a regular skillet right on the stove top. And we just have zucchini and orange squash. It's all been cut up, put into this pan with some olive oil. Gonna add some potatoes. You can do onions if you want. I went with scallions because they cook a little bit more evenly. and some peppers, green peppers, red peppers, yellow peppers, whatever kind of peppers you want to use. Just put some in there. Remember again, you've already put some olive oil down in the bottom of your pan. Just going to sprinkle these in and then season to taste. I'm using Italian seasoning. See so how it's going to have a little bit of a garlic flavor, salt and pepper. Just sprinkle that in. And this is ready to either go on your stove top. You want to cook it on medium heat for about 10 to 15 minutes, or you can throw it on the grill and put that on medium high heat for about 20 minutes. All right, minutes. we're at the grill. We've got our vegetables all ready to go. Gonna put them on here. Now you'll remember that I said that the pork would flare up because of the oil off of the, the fat off of the bacon. Just gonna turn these a couple of times. See how they're already starting to cook up nicely? And it's usually, there you go, on the second flip, when you see that they start to flare up. I'm just gonna let these cook for about two minutes on this side, and then we're gonna put these over the vegetables. And that way the bacon fat is gonna drip into the vegetables and it's gonna be so Our good. Our pork loin has been cooking on the grill for about two minutes. You can see it's really firing up. So now we're just gonna take them we're going to move them up to the top rack and put them right over the vegetables. And as they cook, the fat from the bacon is going to drip down right onto the vegetables. And you're going to want to turn these and just keep an eye on them. They're going to need to cook for about 20 minutes. And also make sure that you stir up your vegetables so that they get cooked evenly as well. Our food is cooked and our meal is done. You might notice something here that we didn't show you when we were cooking, and that's the asparagus wrapped in bacon. This is something extra that we just decided to try. And we had some asparagus, had some leftover bacon, so we wrapped the asparagus in bacon, put some olive oil on the, on the asparagus, some salt and pepper, and we threw this on the grill for 20 minutes, turning every now and then. It'll be interesting to see how this turns out.